What's the word, Harrisburg? My name is Matt Mazel, and we are special on location right now at FMB Field. The Senator season just started, and we have brand new manager Delano DeShields, former major leaguer, spent a couple years in the in the big leagues. Uh, welcome to Harrisburg. Thank you very much. So what we're going to do is going to be a little different. We're going to walk around the stadium. We're going to uh, have this conversation, um, kind of a, a, a get to know you. Uh, I mean, I, I'm a big sports fan. I, I know kind of your your history, your your playing days. Um, when you were a minor leaguer, you weren't in Harris. You just missed being in Harrisburg, right? Yeah, you, you I believe so. You came up with the, with the Expos, and then you were traded to the Dodgers system. Well, I, I got – when we were in the minor leagues, our double-A uh, affiliate was in Pen, uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Okay. So I don't know when exactly the Expos moved here, but I, I missed Harrisburg. Yeah, I mean, I think the Expos started here in the Senator started in '87. Okay. And the Expos were shortly thereafter because I mean, you had the Moises to lose, you had uh, Larry Walker. I mean, those guys came through here, and you just missed them. 1989, I believe, was the year while we were in Jacksonville. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it, it's kind of weird. Uh, the, the career comes full circle where. You're with the team that originally was the uh, Expos uh, farmhand and, and uh, now the Nationals. And, and what is it like for you to kind of uh, have this managerial role, um, you know, in, in, at this stage of your career? Well, I've managed before. You know, the last previous 14 years, uh, I've been with the Cincinnati Reds organization, managed at every level there. Um, in the last four years, of course, I've been in the big leagues as the first base coach with the Reds. But to, to make it back to the Nationals, uh, I was telling my wife that the other night. It, it, it definitely is a full circle moment for me, being that you know the Nationals are uh, the Expos. You know, right. underneath all that is is, <laughs> is the Expos. So it's definitely a full circle moment for me. Um, you look at the the game today, and obviously there's a lot of um, a lot of rule changes happen this off season. Uh, the one that stands out to me is the bigger bases, and already you're seeing a lot more stolen bases. Yeah, you're one of the last great base stealers in the game before everything just kind of uh you know th those base stealing numbers kind of stopped what what what's your take on kind of this new age of uh, base stealing that we're already seeing just a week into the season well it, it's not so much the the rules I, I think it's the pace of play for me that that sticks out um I'm enjoying these uh, two and a half hour games. You know, oh, you, my goodness, yeah. you know, <laughs> it, it, it would be nothing to go into places like Yankee Stadium, and it, it's a four hour game every <laughs> right. time you go there. So, I think pace of play for me is 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 definitely been the biggest thing. But as far as the base stealing and the rules and the engagements and only two pickoff moves and bigger bases, it's it's definitely going to promote um, a different style of play, if you will. How many bases would you steal in today's game? You take nineties. Delano de Shields swiping 56 bags a year. How many bases would you steal in 2023? Well, I hate to guess. You know, you still got to get on, and right, you can't steal we first base. Steal. I mean, let, let, let's, let's, let's be honest here. Let, let's have I'm, some I'm, I'm going to say I, I could probably double my number with, with the rules that are in place right you now. Go over 100. Yes, easily. 100 stolen bases. That's, yeah. that's wow. That's awesome. And that's, I mean, it makes the game more fun. The, the, the speed of the game, not just from a, a clock standpoint, but the speed of the game in the field. Yeah. And that ultimately makes it more fun for people who are watching in the stands and on TV. I was going to say, the fans are definitely going to enjoy that style of play. Just It's similar to when we played. You know, guys were running the bases. The ball was in play. You know, there wasn't a lot of dead time except for, you know, the long games, of course. But <laughs> the style of play is definitely going to be uh, something that the fans are going to enjoy. Um, what is it that, that you kind of bring to the Harrisburg Senators, the, the city of Harrisburg? I mean, you, you talked earlier about how um, you, know, you were managing, uh, you, you have a, a managerial history. You've been a, a coach in baseball for a number of years now. What can Harrisburg Senators fans and the people of Harrisburg expect from a Delano DeShields managed ball club? Well, outside of just playing the game the right way and, and you know, of course, playing hard up until the last out is made every night, which the kids have done. You know, their effort has been outstanding. And, um, you know, a motto of ours coming out of spring training was to play fast. So, you know, we're, we're going to try to play as fast as we possibly can. 
But just uh, to see growth, I think, is the main thing that you, that you want to see, uh, especially from a coaching standpoint. You know, of course, we want these guys to get better on the field with their physical skills, you know, the pitching, the hitting, and so on and so forth. But to see these guys grow as young men also, I think is something that, you know, I, I take a lot of pride in also. What, you said play fast. What does play fast mean? Well, just what we were talking about earlier, as far as on the bases, you know, being being a little more aggressive, uh, uh, just overall on the bases, but definitely in the stolen base department. Is, is that coming from up top? Is that what the Nationals well, kind of want to want to see from uh, their their farm system? Yes, sir. The, you know, Deshaun Watson, our farm director, and uh, you know, they set the tone early in spring training. You know, they want these guys to play a certain way, and that that just means hustling, running balls out, you know, and the whole thing, just 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 playing fast. So you come from a, a, a ball club in uh, Cincinnati that was on the rise. You could see it in their you know, minor league development. Those guys coming up into the majors now. Mm -hmm. uh, Nationals are kind of the same way. They've kind of been in this rebuild mode since they won the World Series a few years ago. The Washington Nationals are world champions for the first time in franchise history. As a manager, do, is, is that exciting to kind of get these uh, guys who are clearly you know top prospects and kind of get to mold them and, and kind of be the, the person that they uh, are, are able to develop with and, and before they you know, make that next big leap? No doubt about it. And that's, that's what it is for me, especially. Just a lot of gratitude, just being able to be a part of the process, um, you know, with these kids. But like I said, for me, it's more, it's more than just their games, you know what I mean? It's about them as, as, as young men also, and seeing them grow. And uh, hopefully the, the goal for me, honestly, is, is just for them to be better, you know, all the way around, you know, from April to, to August, we should see a lot of improvement with these kids. What do you want the people of Harrisburg to kind of uh, realize and, and, and see, uh, you know, being the, the ball club, I mean, this is like the, the big show in town throughout uh, the summer. Um, to get them to come down to the uh, ballpark, the people of Harrisburg, what is kind of the message for them? Well, I, like you, you mentioned earlier, the Nationals are definitely trending in the right direction. You know, there's, there's a lot of young talent coming through the system. Um, a lot of them are at levels below here. Mm -hmm. So there's really a lot to look forward to as far as, you know, Senators baseball is concerned. You know, there's going to be a lot of talent coming through here within the next couple of years. And, and it starts this year, I think. Right. Honestly, yes. How, how do you use your experience uh, you know, as, as someone that uh, played in the majors for, what, 13 seasons, mm -hmm. was it? Nice play by the Shields. He stayed with it and flipped that ball very quickly. Um, not only did you play for 13 seasons, it was an incredibly successful 13 seasons. You saw history. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking back to your time as uh, being on the Cardinals in 98 and being as, a, a part of that with right. the light shining. Well, a lot of season. these kids have no yeah. idea about that part of you know, the history. They know the history, right? Uh, I, would, I wouldn't say that they do. Really? You know? <laughs> they may Google me every now and then, but I, overall, I don't, I don't really think they're that versed in the history of the game. Really? I, I'm, I'm, I, I believe that. that. I, I find that to be incredible that, I mean, at, playing the game that, that you're not in tune to at least a little bit of the history. Well, I think that's something I can kind of bring to the table. And I don't, really, honestly, I don't like to talk about my career sure, so much. Sure, yeah, yeah. But, you know, when it comes up, when they ask questions, I, I definitely have something to offer. But you have that valuable experience, right. like, like, you, just, that's like right. you just said. That's right. Um, right, like you're not going into the clubhouse saying, well, I did this and I no, did that No, and no, like no, that. no, I never do that, no. <laughs> do, do, have you noticed, whether it be through spring training or – uh, or even the, the, you know, since you guys came back up to Harrisburg, um, are guys on the on the club pulling you aside and, and asking you know, hey, when when you did this and and what what do you think about me doing this it's stuff like kind of directly asking you about your past and your history playing? They are, and we're we're starting to get to know each other better. You, you know, I haven't spent a lot of time with these kids, honestly. You know, yeah. even in spring training, we really haven't had our full squad together. It's probably been maybe two weeks at the most. Wow. So I'm still getting to know these kids. They're still getting to know me. And as our relationships grow, I think that, you know, we'll start to talk more about these things. What is it? I know you don't like talking about yourself, especially when it comes around the club. But um, when you look at your history, what stands out the most uh, in terms of your playing days that, that you kind of look back on the most fondly of? Wow. There's, there's been so many moments. Like I said, Montreal was special. Uh, just a bunch of young kids coming up through the minors together who eventually make it to the big leagues. And uh, 
fulfill our dreams in that sense. But I, I would have to say probably the biggest would be playing, getting to play in Baltimore. We are tied at two apiece as the line of the Shields has just touched off a big bomb. Um, in front of my family, you know, I'm from Delaware, of course, and a lot of my family and friends got to see me play on a nightly basis. Uh, of course, they got free tickets, you know, <laughs> so they enjoyed that part. But yeah, playing at, playing at Cam, or not at Camden Yards, but playing in Baltimore was, was definitely probably the highlight of my career. Um, and you were in Baltimore in the late 90s. Yeah. So, so I mean, yeah, you, you played I played with Cal Ripken. Played I played with Cal. Ripken. Uh, yeah. And, and those were, I mean, you, you were part of teams that made runs. Yeah. Um, and, and I know that you know, a lot of times when you're talking about minor league baseball, the development, you, it depends on who you ask. The development means more than the wins and losses, but you're still, you play to win the game. It's the old Herm Edwards. Yeah, you play yeah. to win the game. So when you have that success, when you're able to fall back on that success, how important is that when you're in a clubhouse? And um, because if you're winning games, then clearly you're developing as a ball player. Well, it, it goes hand in hand, I think. You know, it may not look like it a lot of nights, but we do come out and try to win every night. Absolutely. You know? But but the development of these players is first and foremost, and that's something as coaches we always have to be mindful of. You know, even there's nights that I may want to go to a pitcher or stick with a pitcher a little longer, but he's he's run his pitch count up. <laughs> so I got to pull this guy. He may have a no hitter after John, five John innings. On the, you know, yeah, John you Watson know. So the there's there's certain guidelines and things that we have to, to to abide by as coaches, and and it's for the players' benefit. But that's something that the fans have to also keep in mind. Yeah, you know, that's a big part it's, of it. It's, it's part of the it's part of the game. That's right. Uh, Delano DeShields, uh, Harrisburg Senators manager. Um, season just got underway, and they are the show in town for the next few months. Um, it has been a pleasure. Thanks for joining us on What's the Word, Harrisburg. Uh, best of luck this season, sir. All right. Thank you very much. And that's the word. See you next time on WHBG Channel 20.